If you're late, you get to the mess as soon as possible. Grab your food, run to the class. Classes start sometimes at 8:30 or 9:30, and they last till 4:30 or 5:30. Even life at Bennett for me is pretty hectic, but because I enjoy everything I do, uh, it's fun most of the time. Uh, we get free by 5:30. We're done for the day by 5:30, and uh, after that it's our time. So the mess the, uh, is basically the hub of Bennett University. Every student after the classes, before the classes, uh, evening time, be it day, be it morning, be it dinner time, you're going to find majority of the students uh, sitting inside the mess, basically hanging out with their friends. We keep on having events and competitions every week, so these things never let, you know, life at Bennett get boring. When I'm just free, so I can go up to the uh, music room to jam up with someone. In the last eight months, for which I've lived in the hostel, I've changed completely. It's like I've become independent, I do my stuff on my own. Uh, basically, I don't have mom around, so everything falls onto me. It really helps me uh, build myself into the person I want to be. We have a football ground, we have a lawn tennis court, we have basketball courts, we have badminton courts, we have a swimming pool, we have an entire gym and I try to utilize the max out of it. This is me and this is my university, Bennett University. Hello, good evening and welcome to the Friday evening edition of Webinar with Experts organized by Bennett University, where we discuss about a particular program. We talk about the curriculum, pedagogy, infrastructure. We discuss about the internship and placement opportunities and also talk about the admission process and campus life. My name is Anil Bandas and I'm a part of the admissions, marketing and outreach team at Bennett University. And today we'll be discussing about a very important program in the field of post-graduation. We'll be talking about the course known as Masters of Computer Applications or very commonly known as MCA. And for that purpose, I've got a couple of eminent people who are representing Bennett University who have joined me as panelists today. Firstly, I have Dr. Vimal Kumar, who is a senior faculty from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, who would be talking about us about the program of you know, MCA. And so I would be discussing about the entire facilities, the highlights and curriculums, and entire details about the program. We are also joined by Mr. Noshad, who is representing the Training and Placement Department of Bennett University. And Mr. Noshad would be talking about the most important things as normally students you know, are concerned, that is the internship and placement opportunities that are offered in the course of MCA. Before we begin the webinar, I would like to inform to all the audience who are watching us live right now in YouTube or who would be watching us in the recorded version, that the entire program is approximately 40 minutes. And we've got a host of questions from students and also parents who are willing to invest their time and also for their son and daughter to study the course at Bennett University. We have segregated the most relevant ones, which we are going to place in front of our panelists today. And while our panelists are answering the questions, 
that have been asked to them, most of the doubts in the mind of the students and the parents would be addressed in it. So without wasting any time, allow me to ask the first question to Dr. Vimal, who is representing the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. So first of all, welcome to this webinar. Our first question would be, uh, why should a student go for a course like MCA? Because you know, there are so many avenues right now available for a student once they have completed a graduation, especially in the field of computers, but why MCA? Right, so very important question, like uh, for those who are the aspirant uh, for the MCA program. So why this MCA? Like MCA program was started in the, uh, uh, in the like 90s decade. And since then, this program has been a very popular program for preparing the students for the IT industry, as well as for uh, the, uh, for some, some, some uh, government jobs also. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the prime target for the MCA program is the IT industry only. So uh, why MCA program? Because see, uh, after, uh, see, after 12th, uh, if a student is willing to opt for like science stream or, you know, uh, the engineering stream uh, or maybe some commerce stream. So the students, some of the students are diverted uh, to science stream or computer application stream like BCA, BSc, uh, BCom, BA. So all play plain graduates. So what are the options? If somebody is like thinking in terms of building a career in IT industry after graduation. So uh, MCA program is really a very important program for those who are graduating in any discipline uh, uh, to build their career in IT industry. So MC program since 1990s is, is, is continuously preparing the students for IT industry, specifically those who has done their graduation, right? And uh, uh, see MC program uh, earlier, it was uh, three years. Now, since 2021, now the AICT has, uh, may, has reduced the duration for two years now. So uh, uh, that's that's really uh, you know very uh, very very uh, important program specifically for those who are really uh, trying to build their career after graduation in IT industry. Anirban, right? Thank you so much, sir, for starting the entire session like this because it is very important that the students should know right now because now in this competitive era, only doing graduation is not enough. A student should look to go for post graduation, and MCA is kind of a program which actually you know segregates the student who wants to go into the field of IT. And there are right now you know we know that the future is IT, and right now there are a huge amount of opportunities available. So it doesn't restrict any student. Uh, it is accepted by every student from different disciplines, and that is the highlight. And you've also um, importantly mentioned that you know previously MCA used to be of three years, and right now it has reduced to two years, which is also a great help for the students. They're saving a year and also are uh, being job ready, which is very very important. So thank you so much sir, for uh, answering the question why MCA because this is something that every student should uh, get highlighted to. The second question, which is very, very important right now, and uh, which brings to the context right now, is now that we know a student should do MCA, and why a student should do MCA, the second question is, why should a student choose Bennett University? Now, you know, Bennett was established in 2016, MCA started this year itself, but what are the key points that you would suggest to a student that they should choose Bennett about other, above other universities? It's again a very important question, Anirvan. Uh, once, uh, who is really looking for their MCA program at Bennett University? Yes, uh, in India, a lot of universities and colleges are offering MCA program, right? And since 1990s, it has been offered by uh, the NITs, IITs, and uh, some of the government institutions, as well as private universities and uh, the other private colleges. So why a student should choose Bennett? So Bennett is having a standing of uh, just over, I think, six years. And in this short span of time, uh, we have uh, uh, really uh, marked uh, a milestone. And uh, specifically, uh, if you talk about uh, the, all the targeted uh, uh, you know, objectives of the aspirants, like uh, they are looking for uh, placements, they are looking for some exposure of the corporate, they are looking for a very good quality faculty, uh, they are looking for uh, some great infrastructure labs, uh, kind of, you know, that ecosystem that builds them, that provides a kind of, uh, you know, acumen that which will uh, definitely uh, put them ahead the, uh, as compared to the others. 
so kind of system count kind of ecosystem we are having here so uh, like uh, maybe in in our uh, school of computer science engineering and technology under the leadership of i will say the uh, you know very elegant leadership of professor deepak garg so uh, we are really having uh, everything here uh, which is helping them to build their career in the software industry in the it industry in various profiles like uh, we are uh, our curriculum is uh, developed with the uh, uh, with the advice of the expert from it industry and this curriculum is updated every 6 months can you imagine the curriculum that we are having right now is updated every 6 months so kind of practice the industry is being uh, is following uh, right now we are having those uh, those things in our curriculum and uh, specifically the technology the changing technology because you know in it industry every year the new technology is coming up and uh, the students has to learn the new technology and they have to uh, be with the uh, uh, you know pace of the industry so that is one thing and uh, see we are having uh, uh, around more than 40 labs here and we are having some specializations like we are offering Uh, uh more than 14 specialization here at banet and uh, in mca program we are uh, offering four specializations uh, that is in uh, artificial intelligence blockchain data science and cyber security uh, apart from that like we are having you know uh, state of the art resource resources like uh, the iot uh, devices we are having drone labs we are having oculus nvidia uh, uh, jetson now and and we, uh, we are having very uh, you know high performance computing labs like nvidia dgx v100 super computer lab we are having uh, you know dell analytics lab we are having uh, the uh, high performance computing lab we are having gaming and animation uh, 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 lab also so kind of uh, resource infrastructure we are having and that is see uh, that is not only the thing like uh, these things are being provided by everyone like uh, the kind of hardware kind of systems kind of infrastructure many of them are providing but kind of ecosystem that we are offering like hackathons like uh, you know project based learning like uh, you know uh, uh, kind of startup culture we are having at banet you can send more than 10 startups has been already in place and a uh, few startups are earning more than crores in a year so you can understand that in the last 5 or 6 6 years more than 10 startups have banet has done from this school only and uh, not only this uh, see kind of uh, uh, professors we are having they build their own uh, uh, assessment schemes they they are having full Uh, uh you know flexibility to build their assessment component for their courses uh, they build the labs so uh, and also like uh, kind of mentorship we are providing even the average student uh is coming here and the average student is getting a very good startup from the either either in terms of uh, uh, the job or in terms of the higher education or maybe in terms of a startup so the, the students are doing wonderfully well uh, if you talk about like existing program like since mca program is being launched from this year onwards you can see mca program the fee of mca program is just you know uh, just 1.5 lakhs per annum but you talk about the fee of btech it is more than around 4 lakhs per annum so uh, you see Uh, what mca student is getting from here the kind of placement kind of systems which btech students are accessing and mca students are accessing so right now it is a great opportunity for for all the uh, aspirants to uh, to uh, to you know uh, uh, to to uh, to build their career in in it industry software industry with the help of banet culture and banet uh, ecosystem uh right. in, uh,
right right thank you so much in fact you you've told the entire story in the nutshell uh, you you've actually stressed on ecosystem you you've already mentioned about uh, the curriculum you spoke about the quality of faculties you actually gave us a detail about the kind of labs that the students are expecting you spoke about placement opportunities which i'm sure uh, mr noshad will will highlight but the most important fact that you've mentioned is about the specializations that are on offer to the students not many universities would give specializations to an mca student bennett would give that you know we are there uh, the the school of uh, engineering and technology has been doing wonders in just 6 years as you've mentioned so mca is a part of that particular school and also you've also mentioned the part fact that the students would get a wonderful growth path if they choose bennett university and that is very very important right now because one major difference you pointed out and and that's what we normally tell to other uh, students also the basic difference between choosing a government university and a private university or maybe a private university like bennett is we keep on upgrading ourselves because right now dynamism is very important and that is where it is very very important that the students should update themselves and you've rightly mentioned that the curriculum is updated every 6 months which every student should take note of when they join an it industry because they have to be ready with the updated technology and that's why bennett provides them thank you so much sir for for Giving giving us a brief about everything, we spoke about curriculum. We just want you to again come back to that and touch about a couple of things. We we know about electives, we know about majors, we also know about MC is also being provided through honors. So just if you can highlight about what the student is expecting when it comes to curriculum at Bennett University MC. Right. So again, a very very important question uh, from students' perspective and from the academic perspective. so as i mentioned earlier also like uh, we build our uh, curriculum uh, in the uh, in the consultation of the industry people and uh, the the mca program is of 80 credits totally and the beauty of this mca program is also one uh, speciality that is multiple exit entry options so we have designed the scheme the curriculum in terms of multiple entry exit uh, uh, structure like for example if a student takes admission uh, in in first semester and if a student completes the first semester and wants to uh, exit the program because of some miscellaneous reasons so the students will not go empty handed the student will be awarded a post graduate certificate in computer applications with opted specialization right and again if a student completes one year that is first two semesters then the student uh, will be given post graduate diploma in computer applications with opted specialization and then if a student is uh, completing uh, the two years then student will be getting mca degree with the optim uh, with the opted specialization so uh, th- this whole four semesters uh, curriculum is designed in that way also if a student is coming or migrating from other university the student can get uh, the admission here maybe directly in the second year or uh, subject to he or she satisfy the credits earned uh, there in the previous university uh, and those credits will be mapped here if the credits are uh, comparable and kind of uh, the credits that student has earned is mapped with our credits of first year the student will be given the admission in the second year so that kind of scheme we have designed first thing second thing like student uh, is having the option like i said uh, this this program is of 80 credits so this 80 credits uh, program is uh, basically uh, also like if a student is willing to have honors so the student uh, uh, has to earn 12 extra credits to earn the honors degree 12 extra credits those 12 extra credits uh, will be started from second semester onwards and the, the student can take Uh, uh in second semester third semester and fourth semester so uh, four four credits so in that case the students will complete uh, the uh, mc program with honors right uh, student like the, the, the there are uh, electives like uh, we have the specialization elective courses we have general elective courses we have open elective courses uh, and the student like for example a student is uh, is after joining mc program the student is interested in some of the media course or some of the law course or some of the management course or some of the maybe some uh, like uh, physics course or chemi- uh, i mean the 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 mathematics course the student is free to enroll that course across the in- university in terms of the open elective basket uh, 
So that open elective is available. General elective, like we are also offering general electives in which uh, the student will be able to opt them. Specialization electives are specially designed for these uh, chosen specializations. Like there are 10 specialization electives available in each specialization, which we are offering right now. We are offering four specialization that is AI, data science, blockchain, and cybersecurity. And there are two specialization core that is specialization core one, specialization core two, uh, and 10 specialization electives that are offered to the students. So uh, the curriculum is really very, very, uh, very, very, you know, uh, you can say it is designed in consultation with the IT experts and the very academic expert people. And uh, it has been like continuously the faculty who is taking course, the faculty itself is, uh, uh, you know, updating the content and suggesting the what changes are required in, in the coming time. So the, the feedback is taken and then those feedback are uh, put in front of uh, the experts in a board of uh, studies meeting. And then that board of studies meeting uh, is approved by the, the academic council and then that is uh, taken into the consideration in the next semester. So the kind of curriculum we are having that is very, very, uh, you know, uh, elegantly designed and that is very at par the latest trend in the, uh, in the, in the industry. And right, right. So if I just give a brief about what you've said, the most important part is apart from the fact that you've mentioned this is a pretty dynamic course and the, and the curriculum is updated every six months. It is also very flexible and that's where the students has the option of you know, you've mentioned about entry and exit. The student can exit after a semester and still not go empty handed. A student can exit after a year and definitely they can complete the entire course, which is obviously desirable in order to get a success ratio. You've also spoken about, you know, the honors degree, which is very important if a student wants to go for it. You've also mentioned another important fact that since we are in university, there are different courses available. The student might have options of carrying it forward to a different stream, maybe it's journalism, maybe it's law, maybe the other field. So there are open electives which are given to a student. So that's how flexible the, the course is. And that's how wonderfully it has been designed with the help of the IT uh, giants and also with the help of the advisor that are running. So wonderfully explained, sir. I'll just come to another question, which is the third one right now. You've, all been, you've been speaking about four specialization offered. So one question is we already right now, you've briefed us about the four specializations. One thing we want to know is when does a student choose these specializations? Is it immediately after joining this course or maybe after a year or maybe a semester? Because it's very important that the student should come with an empty mind or will they directly choose a specialization from the beginning itself? Right. So again, a very important question. Look, so uh, see, this MCA program is now of only two years. So uh, like the specialization has to be selected in the first semester, in the beginning of the first semester only. So that is the one thing. And uh, we provide the complete, uh, you know, counseling session for uh, the students who are coming here before like they are getting registered in cold call and they will be uh, provided the uh, enough counseling that what specialization they should choose. And like now, uh, I mean, the kind of special we are offering for specialization, as I said, AI, data science, blockchain, and cybersecurity. Although we have designed uh, the curriculum for all, all 14 specializations. So in the coming in down the line, two, three years, we'll start the uh, other specializations also. So uh, like a student, uh, if a student is interested, so for example, in blockchain, so blockchain is a kind of new specialization or new computing paradigm, which is a future. Okay, so uh, uh, the true dem democracy is going to be implemented with the help of blockchain. Uh, nowadays, like uh, so there is like everything is going online and we are doing everything uh, um, uh, in, in terms of digital operations. So there is a need of cyber security uh to secure this uh, this entire uh, digital uh, platform so cyber security is also one of the specialization that a student can opt ai is uh, like nowadays ai is going on very well and uh, it, uh, only only a very uh, small part of ai has been done so ai specialization is uh, again a very demanding specialization and uh, data science is uh, preparing the students for uh, uh, for the like for preparing uh, the different uh, uh, you know dashboards and uh, data analysis and visualization things. So uh, choosing a specialization is really really important at, in the beginning of the semester. And uh, uh, one thing I I just would like to again reiterate 
that uh, we have designed the curriculum uh, like uh, uh, a student can go in the internship in the uh, second year only like in the third semester the student will be sent to the industry if a student has got a paid internship and maybe Noshad will talk about this later. So uh, that uh, uh, th that we have, uh, you know, uh, kept the option uh, in terms of credit. Like third semester credit will be earned through internship only. Third and fourth semester credits. Anirvan, so right. specialization selection is very important, and the specialization will be selected in the beginning of the first semester. Exactly. So that that clears a lot of you know questions or uh, doubts that the student would have in their mind. We are providing for specialization, but then you need to choose a specialization in the beginning. But then you would get enough guidance from the university counselors and the team that would definitely help you to choose a specialization that you're looking for, depending upon your uh, strengths and weaknesses and also on the desirability of the jobs and internships in hand. So talking about jobs and internships, as I've already told you that I have Mr. Noshad with me. So my first question to you, Mr. Noshad, would be, first of all, welcome to this session. Uh, my first question to you would be about the internships and the projects that the students are expected to get while they pursue this course of MCA, because we know this is a course where practicality plays an important role. So uh, talk to us about the internships first. Uh, when would they come, though, though Dr. Vimal has told that it will come in the third semester, but then it is very important that the credits that are offered, uh, internships are offered by the university itself, what are the kind of inter internships the students are expecting? Over to you, Mr. Nishman. Uh, thank you, Anirban, and uh, thank you, Mr. Rimmel. It's a great opportunity. First and foremost, uh, you know, I am enamored to hear about, uh, and which I already know, the multiple tech stacks that we provide. You know, no university in India would do that. Okay, and uh, I think Rimmel and Anirban would second this. Uh, we have electives that are specialized electives, open electives, and let me assure you one thing: for every elective that we have, we offer we have a job out there. So I'm making an overt statement over here. We have, an job, we have a job, we have an internship for every elective that is being provided. And we have, if you look at our BTEC background, if you look at our BTEC students, and even from MCA, MCA is just that, it's a fledgling, we've just started. So we have to travels through and see a lot more, like our students would catch up with these internship opportunities. But with BTEC, if you look at, there are, for every tech stack, there's a job. It could be iOS, it could be Android, it could be in the area of, let's say, cybersecurity, like uh, Mr. Wimmel is talking about, cutting edge technologies in the field of Rust. It could be solidity for everything. So even in with MCA, right after uh, first year, the internship is open for one year. It's open for six months. And after, normally it's after six months of internship, the companies would actually absor absorb these candidates. So when I say absorb, the, can, the companies would go and give them a pre-placement offer. So these six months are definitely a leave a period given to the students to go and exercise and just have the industry exposure. And after that, they absorb. So it is a job guaranteed, job driven, employment driven, uh, I can say course. So every student is uh, augmented, the skill set are honed, augmented, and definitely uh, these kind of opportunities are being provided. I can give you uh, multiple companies as you uh, as you would go further with your questions. Yeah. Anirban, are you there? Yeah. Yes, I'm there. So uh, rightly explained. So I'm sure the students who are, who are watching this session, they would be clear about uh, how they would be looking forward and going the, for the internships, what they're expecting from the university as a whole too, which is very, very important. So I'll come back to you, uh, Mr. Norshan. We'll speak about the placement opportunities, which is very, very important. You know, uh, we'll talk about the important fact, which is uh, infrastructure and labs right now. So uh, over to you, uh, Mr. Vimal, because again, what uh, Mr. Norshan had already spoken about the various opportunities that are provided, it is very important for a student to be groomed before they go for any opportunities that are being offered to them by the university. Grooming happens in the class, whether it's in the classroom or whether it's in the lab, and that's where lab plays an important role in the opening statement. Uh, Dr. Vimal, you spoke about the kind or the number of labs that are offered to a student who is pursuing MCA. So if you can just highlight about the kind of labs that they're going to be exposed to and what is the benefit they're going to get out of it. Yeah, uh, so again, uh, Anirvan, uh, thank you for asking this question, which is uh, relevant to uh, the students, specifically of the uh, for the MCA kind of experience. Like uh, here in Banet, uh, we are having more than 40 labs 
uh, for uh, on different technologies like we are having a Dell Analytics Lab, we are having NVIDIA Center for AI, we are having Apple iMac Design and Multimedia Lab. We are having cloud computing lab, drone lab. We are having uh, robot, uh, robotic process automation lab. We are having IoT and robotics lab, ARBR gaming labs, uh, big data analytics lab, and uh, programming lab, data structures lab, quantum computing lab. So more than 40 labs we are having. And these 40 labs are uh, uh, more than 40 labs are there, which, which has the latest configuration uh, machines available for the students and uh, also for the faculty as well. And uh, apart from that, uh, we are having like uh, the NVIDIA DGX, as I earlier said, uh, V1 supercomputers, uh, Dell Analytics Labs, PC Labs, now Drone Labs, Oculus, NVIDIA Jeston. So uh, the kind of infrastructure uh, in terms of labs, in terms of various high performance computing centers, innovation centers, hatchery, uh, which is uh, really important for uh, the uh, for, for the project based learning we organize the hackathons uh, in hatchery every uh, almost every two months every month uh, that provides a wonderful wonderful platform for the students to sh showcase their skills and solve the problems and we saw uh, we we really uh, you know prepare the students for the national or international level hackathons like nowadays, uh, our students has went uh, has has gone for hackathon in uh, in six different centers across India. Uh, 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 yesterday, Prime Minister Modi has addressed uh, the Smart India Hackathon uh, 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 students participants uh, across uh, India. So around fifteen thousand students participated in that, and uh, uh, more than thirty students from Bennett has participated in Smart India Hackathon at various centers in Hyderabad. Vijaywada, Mysore, Nagpur, uh, Guwahati, uh, and uh, uh, Chennai. So uh, these students are prepared with the help of that hatchery that we are having in A block that, that really prepares the students. Apart from this, we are having lecture theaters and uh, you know, ample space available for all kind of uh, um, activities like uh, uh, GDs or maybe project-based learning or maybe the students are having something. So whosoever is really willing to do something extraordinary, we provide the infrastructure, we provide even in sponsorship, we provide uh, even the support for earn the certifications. Okay, so Anirvan, uh, we are having really wonderful uh, infrastructure and labs, which will support the MCA students for to build their uh, career in, or, or to prepare themselves for the coming career, Anirvan. Right. So again, rightly mentioned about the kind of labs and, and the kind of you know opportunities that are being provided to the students. Uh, it is not that the fact that the students would be competing within the students of Bennett University, but they're going to compete with students of all across India, and they will participate into various competitions which will have actually enhance their skills. And this is one thing that I would again want to inform to all the students. Uh, the placements, are the final part, you become the final product and then you are placed but at the beginning, we actually are raw material. So you get all the exposure. You take all the information from the faculty members. You actually go through the entire process of labs, participate into various events. And then when you are ready to participate into campus placements, that's where you actually go ahead and crack the job and beat the competition. So when we talk about campus placements, we've already heard from uh, Ms. Noshad about the kind of internship opportunities that would be provided. One final question to you, Mr. Noshad, is about placement opportunities. Because we know internship plays an important role when it comes to placements. But then what are the kind of placements a student is expected, expecting from this course of MCA? And you being a part of the placement team, what are the kind of students? Because this is also important for us to know what are the kind of students you expect would be sitting uh, for the placement and what are the preparations they should do before they go for the final placements? Uh <clears throat> Nirban, that's a very, very, um, I can say, a very significant question. Uh, first and foremost, uh, what's very important is that students need to be privy. It's very important to make them, uh, they have to be well informed about the opportunities that are there in their way and how they would harness these opportunities. So we have multiple orientations before they actually get into the uh, internship opportunities. We orient them in a very staggered manner 
we bring bring corporate also to orient them, just not the faculty, just not the career services team. So we also have uh, different, uh, you know, entities coming and providing internships. It could be summer internships. And all these internships are backed by strong projects and tech stacks. That is why I was emphasizing, perhaps if somebody is watching us and if they're enamored to work on, let's say, mean and mern tech stack, then we have on React, we have on Node, we have, you know, companies like JBT, Osmosis, all of them actually backing up these students and enabling them experiential learning. That is, I can say that is a fulcrum of learning, fulcrum of placements. Once this is done, once they have attended the orientations, they're at par with, I can say, uh, with the kind of eligibility criteria that is required. And I can say these students are ahead of the curve, they're ahead of the pack, they can just go and, you know, uh, nail the process. Now, coming back to companies, see, we have students, uh, if you look at our GitHub scores, obviously you'll find that it is on the beautiful repository where you will find students' projects, their resumes, uh, the kinds of exposure that they are to. You know, we have companies like Adobe, Meta, Google. So these are the companies uh, definitely would pick them directly by looking at their scores, credits, and these companies you know, are often scouting the best talent apart from this. The companies that do come to the campus are like ZS, Glue Labs, iSchool Connect, Siemens, Josh Technologies, Year Technologies, which are paying at least minimum of 25 to 50K stipend per month. With, I can say the minimum package that they offer is around eight to 10 LPA. This is bare minimum. And when I talk about uh, engineering or when I talk about uh, MCA, you know, we did strike a uh, average package of 13 LPA last year when it came to engineering. So, and the maximum was 57 with a company called Rippling. So we are, and you'll be stunned to hear this, you know, we deal with unicorns like Grow, Anarok, and Upstocks. These are our clients. And they're the ones who, are, who have partnered with us for internships. So I can say there are millage of opportunities, myriad of opportunities, and for every tech stack, like uh, Professor Vimal is talking about, it could be blockchain, it could be DevOps, it could be Kubernetes, there is a job. And even today, uh, we are mulling with two opportunities. We are going ahead with two drives, which are underway now. Anarok has taken two of our students and for software developer. And still we are mulling with another opportunity for iOS and for Android, along with another company called WatchCard, which is picking our students for software engineering. So every day, day Arirban, in the life of Bennett, there is a placement, there is an opportunity, there is a process, there is an internship. As rightly mentioned, there is an hackathon. And also we are trying from career services cell also, there is an hackathon, which is, you know, why these hackathons are being done? Because companies come and ask us prior to taking up our students, they want to engage with our students. So as a matter of engagement, they would like to have their CTOs, their chief executive officers, or their, you know, managing directors to come and talk to the students on different tech stacks, then engage students with different, uh, let's say, hackathons, because ultimately it is they want people who are opti who are really good at coding. So this is one thing that we, we can uh, definitely we are looking at. And I think this, we have, uh, there are no low strings. There's no low strings in placements. We have worked out and we have a regular scheme where we are up to augment the skill sets of our students. With this, they have a beautiful plethora of opportunities with Bennett. And I wish all the uh, incumbents and the you know, forthcoming students good wishes. And this is a great place to learn. Learn and at the same time be employed here. Yeah. Wonderfully explained, Ms. Norshad. I think this is something which is the icing on the cake that every student looks forward to, as I've told you. When we normally talk as a part of the admissions team, the first question that comes to us is what are the kind of placement opportunities and what are the kind of placements that are being offered? And you've just told for every student, there is an opportunity. And uh, thanks to the training and placement team at Bennett University that we have grown many fold over the years because of the kind of placements that are being offered Firstly, kind of internships, then the kind of training facilities, obviously, and then the kind of placements that are being offered. So thank you so much for giving us an entire you know, detail about the kind of companies that are coming in, the kind of opportunities that is expected from uh, the particular course, and the kind of you know uh, options that the students have in front of them when they do this particular course. So I would just like to um, you know end this particular session by informing to all the students that our admission process is in full swing. If you haven't applied yet for this particular course of MCA, this is the right time to do it because our session is starting approximately in a week and a half's time. So our session for the MCA students are approximately starting in a week and a half's time. So this is the best time for you 
If you have applied and you are waiting for your doubts to be cleared, I think this is the best session where Dr. Vimal and Ms. Norshad have cleared all the doubts, maybe when it comes to the kind of curriculum, when it comes to internships, the kind of labs, opportunities in terms of placement, every detail was touched in this session. And one final thing, again, I would like to mention to all the students is, Bennett is also offering scholarship. If you are a meritorious student, you might get handsome amount of scholarship as a part of a reward given to meritorious students. Apart from the fact that obviously the best in merit, best uh, kind of reward is the placements that you would get at the end of the day. So with that, I would like to end this session. Thank you so much, Dr. Vimal, for explaining all the details about this course and also what Bennett University would offer to a student. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Norshad, for explaining about the internships and minutely explaining about the placement opportunities and the kind of you know, expectation that the student should keep and also the kind of condition is required within this particular program. Thank you once again. Until we meet for the next session, yes, sir, Dr. Vimal, you wanted to yeah. say something? You can. Yeah, thank you, you everyone, uh, for uh, organizing such a you know great session for especially for the benefit of MC aspirants because um, many of the aspirants are struggling to get the information and this definitely will provide uh, the enough and very important information for them. So let me tell you that our session is starting from fifth of September. And the registration process is on 1st and 2nd September. So all the students are uh, really, if they are really uh, uh, thinking in terms of building career at Bannett through MCA program, they should uh, get themselves ready and get admitted as soon as possible and get registered on 1st and 2nd. And then your session will be starting from 5th of sep September 2022. Right. So Thank you've me. already heard it from uh, Sir that this is perhaps the, the best time because it shouldn't be late when you apply because right now uh, we are planning to end the session very soon as Sir told you that the session is planning to start planning to start from 5th. So this is perhaps the right time for you. And in fact, if you have any friend who has any doubts, this particular session right now is going live in YouTube, but then would be there in YouTube. So you can post the link and share this link to your friends who would be able to you know, uh, see and watch this session and their doubts too would be cleared. And they can obviously reach to us. And you know, we have Ms. Ekta Tiwari who's taking care of this particular course and she's doing wonders in this course too. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Vimal and Mr. Noshad. Until we meet again with a new course and with a new set of faculty members. Thank you, please take care and have a very nice evening. Thank you, Anirban. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.